What's up guys? It's Mercifies back for another Java tutorial. We're uh, here with Hello World and we have our Hello World statement, but we don't really know what we want to do. We that's you know, we can type in some text, cool beans, but can we do more than that? Well, of course we can. So let's go ahead and open up Hello World and we're going to check out this uh, what we have right now. Public static currently allows us to output system out print line my name is Waldo well we can throw in a couple other things in here first of all there are variables now what am I talking about variables well variables are things that hold numbers or a string of, of words or sentences um, and they have to be declared inside of the program now there are a couple types you have int you have double you have string which is for letters and well you know what I'm just gonna make all these so let's let's make some some new ones right now we wanna get int a and we wanna set that to int a equals two double B equals 6.982 string C equals quotation I've got a whole lot of money oh, wait we want to change that money we go all right so instead of having hello world my name is Waldo we want to have it print out I've got a whole lot of money oh wait I've got a space and then how much money we have how much money we have is B times a so to do this we can do couple things we can either oh wait why did I just delete that whatever we can either do the multiplication outside of our system out print which I'm just gonna throw it in there again we can either do our multiplication of a times B in this area right here or we can do it inside of the print line statement itself if you want to do um, anything outside here, we could do, well, let's see, we could do, I would want to make it a double. So we could just, yeah, if you want to do it out here, we could do B equals B times A. So B would be the amount of total money we have. It would switch from 6.982 to whatever 6.982 multiplied by 2 is. Now you could either do it outside of here and just call upon B inside of the print line statement and if you want to call upon something so we'll, we'll go back to well we don't have to have those quotations we're gonna we're gonna call upon these variables inside of the print line statement. To do that we want to hit we want to hit C no quotations around it do a space a plus we're gonna do B that's it so our system out print line should print out our variable the first variable C I've got a whole lot of money a space and then the second variable B which is the updated version down here B equals B times A compile it get no errors close out I've got a whole lot of money. I got 13.964. Now, to go back over the variables, I want to make sure you guys are aware of this. The reason I have a decimal in my double is because doubles will always come up with a decimal. Whether the answer is 10 even, it will come up as 10.0. Um, ints always are whole numbers. Now, you can have negative whole numbers, you can have positive whole numbers, you can have negative decimals you can have positive decimals 
but the problem is which one do you want to use that's the whole theory now you can change an int to a double or a double to an int but the process is a little bit weary we'll get into that in another tutorial this one is just kind of a simple one a quick simple tutorial I don't want to keep them all 10 20 minutes long so that's all I have today check out my next lesson see you guys